Nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here. <laughs> and it turns out in another clip we have up on InfoWars, we don't have time to play, Obama jokes about killing people via drones. This is all meant to throw it in our face and just to train us to accept anything. Now, here's Obama saying, at least my ratings are high at the place of my birth. A joke about him being born in Kenya. And, and the AP interprets that as I do. This is a big joke. Uh, here is that clip. Except for my approval ratings, which have just gone down. <laughs> but that's politics. It doesn't bother me. Besides, I happen to know that my approval ratings are still very high in the country of my birth. Ha ha ha. See, flaunting it in your face. We know he was born there, but it's 100% he was an Indonesian citizen and gave up his U.S. citizenship, making him uh, ineligible. The next one is one of the most disgusting. All of my jokes here tonight are brought to you by our friends at Goldman Sachs. They actually put him in office. It's true. Don't worry because they make money whether you laugh or not. See, it's saying we don't care if you're laughing. We're going to rob you, and that's the end of it. We're the mafia. So shut up and take it. Here he is. By the way, all of the jokes here tonight are brought uh, to you by our friends at Goldman Sachs. <laughs> so you don't have to worry. Uh, they make money whether you laugh or not. See... And Republicans like Bush joking about a million dead Iraqis. Well, now you're going to see Obama joke about taking your pension fund. As we go out to break, uh, let's play this last clip, which is actually true. There are hundreds of provisions in the bill that he lied about. Here it is. Some Republicans have suggested that the bill contains a few secret provisions. Now, that's ridiculous. There aren't a few secret provisions in the health care plan. There are like hundreds. <laughs> See, this is their rare time. Uh, tonight, meeting with tens of thousands of elitist scum and the lying corporate media there, laughing and joking because they all feel like they're the winners who, 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 who have buffaloed the American people. Yes, there were hundreds of, of, of provisions, just like in the banking bill. As the U.S. and the world slip slowly into economic and financial gridlock, some economists predict a global financial meltdown and economic collapse worse than we have ever seen. Don't wait for the edicts to start coming out of Washington, D.C. before you begin to fill your pantry. Prepare for financial and economic Armageddon now. Ready Reserve Food has been in continuous operation, manufacturing the finest in dehydrated foods for nearly 40 years. Ready Reserve is the manufacturer, unlike other companies that just broker canned foods. Ready Reserve controls the quality from start to finish with double enameled cans and nitrogen packaging. When purchasing from Ready Reserve Foods, you are buying factory direct at wholesale prices. Many companies do not even offer a catalog, but we will be more than happy to send a catalog to you free of charge. Call 800-453-2202. That's 800-453-2202. Or visit readyreservefoods.com. Factory direct wholesale pricing from Ready Reserve Foods. Call us to prepare for financial and economic Armageddon now at 800-453-2202 for your free catalog now. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. 
gun sales are on a staggering pace. Gun prices are going through the roof, and that means desperate, vicious criminals now want your guns and will do anything to get them. Now, a new book reveals powerful secrets for hiding your guns from thieves and looters. You'll learn step-by-step battle-hardened techniques, where to hide your guns so criminals will never find them, how to create the perfect hiding place, as well as the places you should never hide your guns under any circumstance. These and other closely guarded gun caching secrets are guaranteed to keep your weapons safe and out of sight when the going gets tough. But listen Listen up. For security reasons, the Hide Your Guns book and even the website may disappear without warning at any time. Go to HideYourGuns.com. That's HideYourGuns.com. Or call 877-327-0365. Before they come for your guns. HideYourGuns.com right now. Right now. Right now. So you heard Obama. He said, uh, this whole thing is brought to you by Goldman Sachs, one of the key central banks robbing everybody. And don't worry, because even if you don't uh, laugh, they're making their money. Just an arrogant message. And he also went on to joke about drones killing people. It's not a laughing matter. Even if it was a righteous war, it's totally illegal. But even if it was righteous, you don't joke about the fact that they kill whole families who are innocent. But it's a big joke to him, and it's a big joke to Bush, because the ruling class relishes the fact that they get to rape you. They relish that they're lawless and above the law. They love it. And all over the country, they're running ads similar uh, to this one to intimidate taxpayers, people who are bankrupt. Nice car, nice house. We're God. We're the government. We're watching you. You're just a little slave. We've used your money to take over. And, hey, we don't care if you don't laugh because... We're going to rape you one way or the other. Your name is Tom. You live just off of Fifth Street. Nice car, Tom. Nice house. What's not so nice is you owe Pennsylvania $4,212 in back taxes. Listen, Tom, we can make this easy. Pay online by June 18th, and we'll skip your penalty and take half off your interest. Because, Tom, we do know who you are. Find us before we find you. That is terrorism. That is taking your tax money and running ads like that. See, it was public service announcements forever about tattle on your neighbor if they're smoking pot or spanking their kids or, you know, oh, the government was being reasonable telling us to tattle. And now they're just saying, we're watching you with satellite. We know who you are. We're going to take everything you've got. Some other news that you can read up at GCNlive.com that are key stories today. FDIC shut seven more banks at a cost of over $7 billion. Here's another uh, key article. Corporate media plays down pro-illegal immigration thugs who terrorize Santa Cruz, setting fire to buildings and attacking. That's all uh, detailed up there at GCNlive.com. Here's another one. Al-Qaeda terror tape proven fraudulent once again. An Israeli front group who's done it before put out the fake tape within hours of the uh, botched uh, Tinker Toy Bomb, Car Bomb, uh, in Times Square. You can find out about all of that, uh, again, at GCNlive.com. And another one here, Bank of America hit with Mark of the Beast uh, graffiti, a Kurt Nemo story, also at um, GCNlive.com. Here's another one, Goldman Sachs uh, concedes case for restraining the banks. Yeah, but the way that that, but again, the actual banking legislation doesn't, restrain them and we didn't have time to really get into all that today but tomorrow i will cover it here's some of it power to collect any information from any other agency including state government agencies given in superiority and scope to all investigators number two mandate companies who pose a threat to u.s financial system which could be widely applied to almost anything to register fira and submit to fra risk management policies And again, the big banks write those policies. Mandate record-keeping on all private financial entities with no limitations on what government may require. Monitor all financial services. Promulgate regulations to relinquish heightened risk-based capital leverage and liquidity requirements that increase on a graduated basis for certain bank holding companies. Totally arbitrary with no guarantee that the real problems like Goldman Sachs won't be let off the hook. That's like that stimulus package they passed last year, supposedly restricted CEO pay, but it all had loopholes and waivers for all the big companies. Six, regulate derivatives as hedge funds. 
They are so complex, however, that loopholes will surely abound. Control all banking and thrift institutions on whatever size. Control insurance on municipal securities. Regulate all credit practices and mortgages. Control credit rating agencies. And the Texas Banking Association concurs with Joel Skousen's analysis from World Affairs Brief that this is a takeover of healthy regional real banks that will actually give you a loan. Here's another one. Bailout will require banks to track and report personal checking accounts to the feds. Everything you do in real time, no more Fourth Amendment or Fifth Amendment. Great job, crew. Back live tomorrow. Thank Retransmission you for starts now. Infowars.com. Be sure to visit Retransmission GCN starts now. Join us here today. coming up in 20 hours. Back live. Max, what did you do with the remote? <laughs> now what am I going to do? I guess I can go online to find a new one. Okay. Here's a site. ReplacementRemotes.com. Let us repair or replace any remote control. Well, I guess they can't repair this one.